So, following yesterday's bit of a disappointing morning, um, the weather just really wasn't working out. And the forecast for today was um, was to be quite a nice sun sunrise. So I was going to make a second video where I went to another location for a sunrise. However, when I got up this morning, there was some beautiful misty conditions. So I was heading to the, the same location as yesterday to see if I could see any mist amongst the forest. But as I was driving up, it started to clear. The sun started to peek out and I've got this amazing scene in front of me with a mixture of, of um, mist, colour in the sky, it looks pretty good. So I'm sitting up here having a look across, um, I really like this composition, there's a, a tree in the foreground, a hill in the background, mist in between the two, it looks quite nice, a little bit of peachness in the sky. Um, I'm using actually a three-stop graduated and a two-stop graduated together to balance out the sky. Uh, currently set on ISO 100, F11 and 0.4 of a second. And uh, it looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with the result. Uh, I hope you enjoy it too. So after that shot, I've taken that shot now, I'm just going to head along this fence line because over this way there's even more mist and trees and forest and it's creating a lot of layers in the atmosphere and I think that will make a good composition as well. So my second composition this morning, I'm looking out across the field again but in a different position. In this one there are two trees in the foreground, a bit of layering with the misty forest in the background and then the sun peeking out over the, the mountain range. In the, in the distance and it's starting to produce this wonderful golden orange colour over the mountain range and the shadow of the mountain range really is making quite a nice composition I think just uh, going at about 75 millimetres using a 70 to 200 lens the colour is amazing yeah, F11 ISO 100 again and this time one fifth of a second. Two second timer. Click. Looks pretty good. The midges have started coming out of it, so I've decided to don a, a midge net. Now this is my third composition, more or less along the, this same stretch, but it's just such a fantastic range of views right now with this mist rolling in around the hills. So over this way I can see there's some trees on the right hand side of the image, but there's, there's the top of, I think that's Ben McDewey actually, sticking up out of the cloud just catching the light coming up behind it on the east over here. So more or less the same settings as before. ISO 100, F11, one fifth of a second. Two second timer. Let's see how that goes. Is actually really impressive. I'm, I'm quite surprised by how good this morning is turning out. So my fourth image this morning, I am just shooting across to where the th cloud is a bit thicker, the fog is a bit thicker. There's this nice few trees just sticking up out of the clouds in the middle ground. So you've got cloud, a bit of forest in the foreground, a bit of fog, trees pointing up, fog and a hill just pointing up as well. I think it's quite nice, very simplistic. So the settings that I'm using ISO 100, F11, 
0.4 of a second and I've still got those graduated ND filters on just to bring in that the top cloud and add a bit of colour because I can see colour but when I expose for the cloud it's not picking it up because it's, a, it's too bright so it's just giving this nice little orange pinky touch to the top of it I'm going to switch to portrait and zoom in a bit more and see how that looks I like that a lot. The midges are being very annoying, but the landscape is being amazing. I must admit, I've just gone a bit wider. I'm incorporating the road into my shot to provide a leading line to these misty covered mountains in the background. And the sun is just starting to cascade across this um, field here and it just I really love it I really do I'm really happy with the result so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to drive along the road a bit further and hopefully I can see some some decent fog inversion in the mountain valley that's at the end of this road so fingers crossed <laughs> so I'm coming to the end for this video it's turned out a lot better than I was expecting to be honest I'm going to do one last little composition here in the forest. There's a nice side light coming through. So I'm just going to set up and then I'll show you what I've, I've done. So I've just set up towards these, these trees and the light's coming in, uh, causing nice shadows and orange grass. It, it looks really quite nice though, so very summery. Um, there's a bit, it, the, the, the background has got a bit of cloud and it's a bit, um, whiting out the background which is quite nice um, but so I'm quite happy with this composition to be honest and this is going to be my last image of the morning I'm getting a bit fed up with the midges uh, I'm very happy with how today has turned out I must admit it's been a fantastic morning much better than yesterday, as you saw. Um, yesterday was so demoralizing with the rain. Ho I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sort of starting to fill up on it. I think it's gonna be quite a long one in the end with yesterday's footage and today's. Um, but it has been an amazing day of photography. I'm starting to get a bit midge bitten and uh, even I'm wearing insect repellent and it's just not working. Um, and uh, I'm hungry and I want a coffee. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna take a few shots around this little bit of woodland and then I'm going to head home and, and process everything. Um, but it has been a pretty good morning. The mist is starting to lift now, um, but overall I'm happy. Worth the effort today. Not yesterday, but today, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you are liking the, this video, please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming pre-videos. Oh, I'm getting seriously midged, so I'm going to go get my midge net and then set up. Okay, thanks for watching.